Hello again. I'm your host Ali Khan. Today we continue our lesson configuring the company. So what we are going to learn today is some simple basic steps. Uh, four things we are going to configure. Uh, market segment, then business area, functional area and F N area. I just give you a brief in details in market segment you can say that it is a line of business like uh, in our example we take it as automobiles our company has one line of business automobile it could be more line of business like for example textile pharmaceuticals so the uh, you can um, mention any line of business more than one but in our example we just take one automobiles line of business in a line of business we have a business areas you can say that underneath a market segment we can further divide it like uh, our line of business is automobiles so our business area is cars and bike and uh, it, uh, you can expand it further like trucks if you, you have separate uh, business area so it's depend on the operations okay and then the third thing is functional area it is like departments uh, for when you are getting profit and loss report using the cost of sale accounting method uh, you mentioned this and that like admin department sale department production department so different department but in our example we take two admin and sales and the last one is fm area it is for budget mainly for budget uh, we use it for budget for revenue and expenditures uh, it has a more it require more details we can discuss uh, later on and for this we just define one funds management area canada only one we are just configuring so these are the simple steps today we are going to learn we go to sap then spro so enterprise structure definition of financial accounting we have done this in the first pass define company business group company today we are going to do this so first we make a segment like in our case our segment is automobile so we create a segment and We take this segment A and we have used automobile. So I have mentioned these are three one for my easiness. Okay, uh, because my company name is D031, so I'm just using D031 with each and every entry, so easy for me to identify. Just save it. So, this is our segment, it is already exists, so we can do it like this double it. You can go back and check it out segment double a is there so we can also update here also as well so our line of business is automobiles and in that we have uh, our business area is cars and bike we use code ba01 and ba02 to define this so same path just go back go back now you have to define business area new entry 
B is zero one for cars and B is zero two for bikes. For cars again, I will use D zero three one and B A zero two bikes. Save it. So these are the two we have defined. Now the third step is that we have at the top automobiles as a line of business market segment. Then underneath automobiles we have two business area cars and bikes and then the functional area as i told you it's a department you use it for the these are assigned to call centers for the reporting purpose and <clears throat> for and the main thing is that cost of sale accounting method when we are using then we use this function area the other one is the periodic this comes under uh, under perpetual accounting so so we define all the two departments functional area admin and sales it, it could be production marketing so we use this so fn01 for administration functional area same path Again, for our easiness, I use D031. FN02, and this I specify for sales. Save it and already exists, so I will use one one. And data was saved. So I will update my sheet as well. It's one one and one two. Then the last step is FM area. As I told you, it's for fund management. So we just have to uh, mention the currency. That's it. Same path again. Go back. Functional area. new entry and fm01 fm01 function area this and this is the main thing we have to define the currency that's it so all four steps done just to just to give you a graphical i mean view see you can see that for better understanding as i told you business area like separate operation in our case is cars and bikes this is business area this is company at the top is client then company in business area this you can have more business area if you have a group of company and you have three companies like in that so each business area can be used by three companies separately and 
one more thing so just to give you uh, more detail about these two things uh, functional area and fn area as you can see that in this uh, flow chart functional area is when you are using perpetual accounting we use functional area the other one is the periodic accounting so and when your cost of goods sold is calcul calculated through so use of functional area uh, we use report painter for income statement cash flow so at that time this uh, functional area uh, comes in but in periodic uh, there's no need for functional area and for fm our last step and uh, you can see that is uh, fm areas as i told you before it is for budgeting for expense and revenue you can assign FM area if you have, I mean, do your controlling area more than one controlling area, and underneath if there are so many companies, so one FM area can be uh, is at the top, and it can be uh, for budgeting purpose. It will work to all the companies and controlling area. So this is a basic uh, definition or. Uh, step in configuring SAP. So this is part two and uh, um, We'll meet again in part three uh, until that uh, Goodbye. See you later